Hi, I'm Larry with Gray Whale Paddle here in the Sacramento area. I uh, have been in the paddleboard business many, many years and instructing for six or seven years. And I want to talk to you a little bit about paddles, uh, types, materials, selection, and that kind of thing. I have with me two paddles, just two examples of many, many types. These paddles both have a, basically a carbon fiber shaft. These are actually both adjustable paddles. Uh, adjustable paddles, of course, have a great benefit if you've got a variety of different people using your paddle, sharing amongst family members. Uh, and, of course, in the case of the, with the Sea Eagle inflatable, the, uh, this is not only an adjustable paddle, but it actually breaks down into three pieces, making it very compact and very transportable. Uh, most paddles, of course, don't do that. Now, in general, you can find paddles that have carbon shafts, fiberglass shafts. You can find wood shaft paddles. You can see here that we have one sort of a plastic composite blade and we have one wood blade with a coating of fiberglass. So it's a combination of wood and composite. Uh, you can see there are two different blade shapes and you can also, I think, see that one blade is longer than the other. And uh, that really brings us to selecting a paddle size. Let's talk just briefly about blade size. Generally speaking, a medium sized blade works best for both most people over the long haul. Uh, some people will go for bigger blades for surfing or for short distance racing, but for the most part a medium blade or even on the smaller side blade is a little easier on the body. Now to select paddle size, uh, people are most commonly told to basically hold their hand up over the head and bend the wrist over the top of a paddle, but I'm going to tell you why that's not the way to do it. Uh, when you select a paddle, size. You have to consider that the blade of the paddle will be in the water all the way to the top of the blade. Because of that, a different length blade will create a different shaft paddle overall. So to properly size these, the paddle should be, I'm going to set one paddle down for just a moment, the paddle should be sized upside down and you should be looking directly at the start of the blade. That takes the blade out of the equation and selects the proper length shaft because the shaft is what's important. It's from the top of your hand to the water. What's under the water doesn't matter. These paddle blades are about two inches different. So if I measured these in the traditional way, this paddle would be too short for me on the water because the blade is longer, therefore the shaft is shorter. So you have to take into account proper measurement of the paddle. That being said, that initial measurement is your starting guide. Uh, if you have an adjustable paddle, you can vary it for conditions. Some people surf with a different length paddle or long distance race with a different length. Some people use the same length paddle all the time. So this is a great starting point, and from there you can customize to your own use. Some people just have a preference for a slightly longer paddle. Some may be slightly shorter. So just remember, it's about the paddle shaft length, not about the blade length. Uh, there's a lot of variety of blade styles and shapes, uh, most of them have a general similarity. Uh, some are more rounded on the bottom, some a little more squared off, some wider, some narrower. I'm not an advocate of very wide blades because it just keeps the paddle further away from the board. The further away from the board, the more it turns you when you don't want to turn. Weight-wise, there's a huge variation. You can get paddles that are ultra-light down in the low 20-ounce range. You get paddles that are very beefy and less expensive that are up in the 40-ounce range. But generally speaking, most paddles you're going to be looking at are going to be probably 28 to 38 ounces. And for most people, for most purposes, that'll be okay. Uh, for specialty purposes, maybe ultra-light is better. Uh, I personally don't prefer ultra-light anyway. For more information, click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel.